Morning everybody. How's everyone doing? Hope everyone's keeping nice and warm. Now, well, we've had a little bit of rain on Sunday um, and the temperatures have started to rise a little bit. It's done, done me a bit of a favour because all the snow that we've had has now gone. So it's been three weeks since I've been up the plot. So I'm just going to give you a quick little look round and have a look at what damage has been done by the bad frosts we've had. Now, before I went away, um, I didn't actually get round to putting the broad beans and some of the onions and that in. So what I did, I, I put them under the chairs in the hut, hoping that I might survive the frosts and the minus or the minus zero temperatures. But unfortunately, it wasn't to be. As like a lot of people, the broad beans have been hit really bad. Now I have got a tray that's actually underneath at the back where there's a couple of plants in there that don't look too bad. So I may, I may dig that tray out later and have a little look in there. Although the onions and the shallots haven't been affected at all, which is good. So I'll try and get them in a bit later on in the week. Now I did save some of the potatoes up here for seed potatoes for next year. I should have really put them away, but I didn't get round to it. And um, I think they're no good now. They've all, they've all gone to mush where the frost has destroyed them. Got some beans drying off on there. Although I don't know, again, how viable they're gonna be. But they're still a little bit damp. So we'll leave them there and let them dry off. Nothing really happening in the fruit area. Everything in its uh, dormancy. Haven't done anything at all, um, let's say for the last three weeks, because we haven't been here. Um, and with all the snow, there's, there's not been a lot of point coming over anyway. Yeah, I've still got a bit of digging to do in there. Um, it is a little bit waterlogged in there still at the moment. So, We'll just, we'll leave that. That's not a major problem at the moment. Now over here, leeks doing fine. Now the, other, the thing I am really surprised at is the pak choy. Now, of all the things I thought I was gonna lose because of the frosts and the snow, is the pak choy. But as you can see, they seem to have survived to a degree. So I'll, I'll have to do a little bit of reading up because I didn't think the pak choy was very hardy. Um, perhaps I'm wrong. But anyway, turnips, a few little turnips in there. I don't know whether they're gonna be any good. They may go, they may have gone a little bit woody now. Some carrots in there, um, may have them up today. The child at the back's taking a bit of a battering with the frosts, but they may pull through. We'll leave them in. The rhubarb, well, <laughs> it shows for itself with that. Now moving on to this bed, the only thing that has benefited really is the garlic, which with these sub-zero temperatures has done them the world of good. We've got some more leaks over the back. Seem to be doing all right. Don't seem to be affected by the frost too much. Some more chard down here, which is taking a little bit of a battering. Although, they might be viable, might be viable. We'll leave them anyway, for now. Nothing doing down this side. That's already prepped up for next season. Now into the brassica section, which has taken a fair amount of battering. They've all gone limp, fell over, the, the sprouting something or other. That's knackered. I've still got a couple of cabbages here, which seem to be doing all right. They don't seem to be affected. We've got some purple sprouting broccoli here, which is starting to go on the turn. And 
a little purple something in there. I'm not too sure what that was. Some sprouts down the back there. You can see in there. Not very big at all. But I've got about five or six sprout plants, so with a bit of luck, I should be able to salvage enough for Christmas dinner. Got some purple ones there, which are very small. But again, I've got about four or five plants of them, so I may be able to salvage a few. Some Swedes over the back, which seem to have, this year, seem to have got rather long necks on them. But the bulbs, especially that one over the back there, doesn't look too bad. Onions doing all right in there. Flopped over a little bit, but they should be all right. Portuguese cow, again, taking a bit of a battering, but we'll leave it. It may perk back up again. You never know. Two little Romanesca cauliflowers, and I do emphasize little. I may pick them off and take them. I don't think they're going to get any bigger now. The artichokes, which were doing brilliantly on the last time I was over here, had been hit bad with the frost. Absolutely devastated. So they'll need tidying up at some point along there. We've still got a big thick chunk of ice in the compost there, in the bucket. But everything is still pretty much frozen, even though the temperatures have risen quite a bit. It's very windy, it's wet, but it is mild. Now into the brassica cage. Not a lot going on in here. Again, they've all taken a bit of a hit. Brussels sprouts, not too bad in there. Some purple sprouts over there. Got the, I say the main Brussels sprout plant. That one there, which doesn't look too bad. They're starting to blow at the bottom a little bit. But I think that, that's the best plant so far. Still got the red cabbage. Was meaning to take that out last time I was here. Um, and I wasn't sure if that would survive or not. It hasn't, it's taken a bit of a hit down the bottom, but the actual cabbage itself, if you can see in there, is very nice. Purple sprouting broccoli, all starting to go to the flower now and some more purple sprouts and broccoli is starting to come through. So yeah, I've had some wins, I've had some loses, and I've had a very big surprise with the pat choy as well. So yeah, it was just a, just a quick little update on what's been going on um, over the last three weeks with the weather conditions. I think, I think I'll have a little tidy up in the hut and then I think I'll just call it a day. So until next time, take care and I'll catch up with you very soon.